Hey Queenie. Hello. Oh, here's another queen. <laughs> another queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you ready? I'm ready. We are outside Buckingham Palace. It's 10 to 11, and today, Jean and I, along with Liam, are going to be racing to Paris. Buckingham Palace to the Eiffel Tower, plane versus train. Who is going to win? I'm ready. I think it's time. It's time. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jean, you cannot get a lift. I'm trying to go there very fast though. Bye guys. <laughs> so I have left Buckingham Palace, left Jean behind, and now I'm heading up to Green Park Station. So my plan is to take the tube from uh, Green Park to Paddington Station where I'm going to take the Heater Express. Smooth start on the tube. Are we going to win? Yeah, I think, I think we are going to win. It's going to be tight, but I think we're going to win. I'm pretty confident. We get the nice experience. We're going to go in the sky. Exactly. Green Park Station to St Pancras on the Victoria Line. That should be pretty easy. And then get the Eurostar from there. is being held here to regulate the service. Delayed. Very hot on the Victoria line. Literally dripping with sweat already. We're stuck because of signaling problems. Five minute delay. <sighs> problems on the Victoria line. I'm gonna change to the Piccadilly line and that should be faster. We are at Paddington Station now. Top tip for you, you can now use contactless to pay for the Heathrow Express and go straight through the barrier. Pretty significant actually, so the fact that we're in a rush, it makes quite a big difference that I can just run straight through these barriers and straight onto the next train. And you can skip join the queue now. This is a business class lounge. Do I have time for this? The business lounge is for business class passengers, or if you have a platinum American Express card, which is my case, because I am going economy, standard, cheap, but because I have American Express platinum, I have access to the lounge. Okay, so on the Heathrow Express now, let's talk options because I could have got the tube. The tube would have cost just over three pounds for the whole journey, and this option costs about 24 pounds. So it's 22 quid for an off-peak off ticket. Just 21 minutes from Paddington to Heathrow on the Heathrow Express, which is very spacious. Lots of leg room, Wi-Fi, they show the TV. It's just a very nice, pleasant place to be, especially in the summer when the tube is very hot. The 12.34 departure to Paris is now ready for boarding. Welcome to St. Pancras International. This is my Eurostar train, the 12.24 to Paris, and should go. I just love trains. But none of this airport bureaucracy and like fast and seat belts and stuff like that. I mean, I love flying, but the train is so nice. Bye London. Being at Heathrow, especially Terminal 5, so fresh and large and clean and nice, it's an exciting place to be. 
but we've got about an hour till our plane departs, so we need to get cracking. I have British Airways Gold status, which means we can use the first class wing and the first class lounge, so it adds an extra nice touch to this experience. Uh, you can learn how to get status too with British Airways um, on the Point Sky UK too, because that's what could give you access to this. The security lines might be quite long further down in the terminal. We're going to have a private security line uh, where we're probably not going to have to queue at all. Good for a race. Okay, we're in Gallery's first lounge. Don't really have very long. It's 12.30. I am moving pretty fast already. And I don't know how Nick and Lee are doing, but I think I'm going to win this race. We are approaching the gate, so there's quite a few people at the gate here, but we're going to take the priority lane, number one there, where there's no queue and we can just board straight away. Happy days. Uh, I'm crossing the English Channel now. So Eurostar has a speed limit of 300 kilometers per hour, but within the, Eurostar, within the English Channel uh, is reduced to 160 kilometers per hour for safety reasons. So we're actually running almost half of the top speed of the Eurostar right now. But that's part of the schedule, that's fine. And I am still way ahead of Nikki. I'm pretty much halfway through Paris now and they haven't even bought it. So, pretty good so far. Boarded on time, we might be departing early and the flight time is gonna be a quick 40 minutes. This is very weird, we literally stopped. Ladies and gentlemen, our train is stopped in the middle of the tracks. For your safety, please do not try to open any access doors. just taken off. We've also just heard from Jean who got stuck in the English Channel but apparently he's on the move now and it's in French territory. Yeah. We are definitely not. We've got some catching up to do but we are in the faster two vehicles so hopefully we can make up the ground. A little bit quicker on here. Uh, we also left on time and I think we're going to land 20 minutes ahead of schedule. The race is really on now. Okay. We are running again. That was the longest 15 minutes ever. We literally stopped in the middle of the English Channel for 15 minutes and nothing happened. The only announcement was that we stopped the train, but actually they didn't say why we stopped the train. But at least we're moving now. Is that Paris? I think I'm in France. French time 3.35. We need to hot foot it now, get through passport control. Jean will have done that already in London, but we have to do it now. Um, get out of the airport and into a taxi as soon as we possibly can. It's 3.50, Gardenor, and five minutes behind the schedule, so not too bad. But I think the boys are already on their way to the Eiffel Tower. I don't have tickets for the train, but I think I'm gonna cheat and get a taxi. Toy fell to the plane. We are 15 minutes away, but we just heard from Jean that he's 14 minutes away. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want to stop for? Uh, here, here's fine. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I think we might have done it. Literally crossing in the middle of the traffic. We are hairing it. Liam, come on, we're here, we got it. There it is. There. We have right. I'm here, but where are the boys? Yes, yes, in. Oh no, they are. Oh no. Ah. How long? How long have we been here for? Hours. Hours and hours. It's not no, true. We've, been, we've had a good, we've had a solid little oh. five to ten minutes sunbathing. But come take a seat. Okay, we made it to the Eiffel Tower. We are here in Paris and the winner was... The Flame! Yes, I like you, John. Yeah, um, training was everything okay up until the channel. We got, I got stuck there for 15 minutes. For no reason, or well, they didn't tell me the reason, so it was very unlucky for that. But everything else was great, it was fast to get to the train, then garden noise pretty close here. Um, I managed to get into the business class lounge at the... Using your Amex Platinum, right? Amex Platinum, yeah, so it was fun. And um, we had a very smooth journey, so we beat you by about 10 minutes, so your delay probably was the clincher actually there. And we had a particularly efficient journey, so journey to Heathrow was okay, we left on time, we landed early, there was no queues at immigration, and the cab, there was not much traffic. That, that was the key bit, I think, had we been held up going through security in Paris, that's where I thought we could lose it, but that was just literally straight through. And yeah, here we are now. One thing is for sure, there is no very clear, distinct winner here and little changes in schedule and problems with road, rail, taxi, whatever is going to mean the difference between being quicker or not. Or not. <laughs> Loser! Yeah, there right, let's go see some of Paris! Woo! One more thing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and... Uh, like this video, leave a comment uh, and give us a thumbs up. Anything Yay! else, Sean? <laughs> no, that's Just it. Just a cheer! Really. <laughs> <Woo! laughs>